interesting. What do you say to the people? So we just had this Facebook thing and, you know, people inadvertently shared their data. And one of the things that people like to point to with Apple is uh, you're going to have the ability to share your data with a provider or with, at some point, you're going to be able to walk into any health system and say, would you like a copy of my record and click a button and your Apple health record uh, will, will go over and they'll at least have that at, at the point of care. Yeah. Um, but what, what privacy people are saying and uh, some, some high powered industry people are saying is if we give people access to their health record, they're going to get duped and they're going to give away their health record. I mean, what, I mean, do you, I mean, clearly it's a concern, but um, are you more worried about that or are you worried about that? And how, I mean, how do you balance that with putting people in the driver's seat of their health? Yeah. Wow. So, you know, we are always striking that balance and, um, on a daily basis, you know, how rigorous and strong do you make authentication and passwords? Um, and yet you don't want it to be a barrier to having your clinicians easily get in and be able to access information on the patient so that they can render care. We're, we're continually um, teeter tottering on um, an, in an imperfect world. So um, look, I just think we're going to have to continue to navigate that for sure. Yeah. Um, one might argue that when you've got all this data that's accessible, and I know our physicians argue it, they're like, whoa, if it's out there, um, does that mean there's an expectation that I knew it was there, I looked at it, and I'm accountable for it? Right. That's counterbalanced with the clinician saying, wow, you know, if we put it completely in the hands of the consumer or the patient, and they're electing uh, not to share it with us, that could be pretty damaging too. Um, you know, I think the reality is, as a patient, as a consumer, um, that's really mine. It's mine to make some determination over. And, um, and yet, I think many people would agree that in a circumstance where, um, you know, let's say there's a horrific accident, you're, you're in a car accident, you arrive unconscious in an emergency room, um, that's a circumstance where people can really wrap their head around the fact that they'd rather have their care providers have access than be overly concerned about the wrong person having the ability to um, take care of them by having a barrier to that information. But I think it's going to introduce a whole different um, level of conversation and complexity, for sure. Yeah.